Bull Creek is a special place. Located in Christian County in southwest Missouri, the hills of the watershed were once explored by Henry Schoolcraft. Today, its clear waters now flow into Lake Tinicomo. Bull Creek has been recognized as an outstanding state resource water, meaning that it's a stream of high quality in Missouri, and it's an important stream for being conserved into the future. 93% of the state of Missouri is owned by private individuals, as opposed to being owned by local, state, or federal governments, which own approximately 7% of the state. Private landowners have the opportunity to be stewards of their land for the benefit of wildlife and water resources. Bob and Barbara Kipfer became stewards of their land in the Bull Creek watershed in 1995. Their property lies near the historic small settlement of Bull Mills, along a one-mile remnant segment of the Ozark Mill Trace, also known as the Springfield Forsyth Road. Since their purchase of the property, they have collaborated with many groups and organizations to improve their part of the watershed for better water quality and improved habitat for wildlife. In an effort to try to reduce stream bank erosion, the Kipfers collaborated with the Missouri Conservation Heritage Foundation through the Stream Stewardship Trust Fund to complete an engineered bank stabilization revetment and plant a riparian corridor of 2,000 trees. The engineered rock structure slowed and stabilized the current eroding bank and the growth of trees in the riparian corridor provides for long-term stability of the bank and stream channel. Back in 1995, uh, we were looking for a place in the country and uh, we happened to stumble upon this property. And there's a long story there, but of course there always is a long story. But uh, at that time, we purchased the land and it came with uh, a problem and the problem was that in 1993 the big flood on the Mississippi had had high water here and had eaten out a bank over here that was had been farmed right up to the edge so there were no trees and what we did at that time uh, there was a bank stabilization proposed by the Missouri Department of Conservation and uh, so we did and it required 200 trees to be planted on that bare field out there and so they explained what riparian was and said that there ought to be a 50 foot wide on all of the stream. So we planted 2000 seedlings that year with the help of neighbors and a tractor. I didn't even know how to spell tractor back then. And we uh, planted with dibble bars, right? Uh, poking them into the ground and miraculously they took off. Other projects at their property have included using willow stakes as a stream bank stabilization technique, planting warm season grasses, caring for the forest through timber stand improvement, and restoring a glade. A lot of good history, but also the people that moved in here, they, they uh, farmed right up to the edge. And that edge had a lot of uh, river cane, big cane breaks that held the soil. And when they cut down those cane breaks, we developed something that had not been developed before. And that is the iconic uh, gravel bars that we have. Can you, I can't imagine the Ozark streams without gravel bars. And yet Schoolcraft came walking through here in 1818 and 1819, 90 days and 900 miles. He never once saw a gravel bar and he was a geologist. He was always talking about the makeup of the rocks, but not about finding gravel bars. Once on the White River, he mentions gravel. So a lot of the things that we take for granted right now weren't there. And our little holy rocks that we like to collect and, and work with, uh, and the crinoid fossils that we find down here are just reminders of how the, the up, Ozark uplift occurred and then 
the drainage down created all of these streams, including Bull Creek. Visitors of Bull Mills today are likely to receive a warm welcome, a story of the path of Henry Schoolcraft through the valley over 200 years ago, and may be gifted with a mobile fashioned from so-called holy rocks found abundantly now in the gravel beds surrounding Bull Creek. The Kipfers have shared their stewardship of the land with others over the last several decades, including allowing their property to be used for ecological research projects by students at Missouri State University. Yeah, this is crazy. To ensure that their stewardship efforts and property will be maintained as a natural part of the Bull Creek watershed for decades to come, the Kipfers have entered into a 50-year agreement with Missouri State University to provide for land stewardship into the future. I've said so many times, we don't own a place like this. We just happen to be the stewards of it presently and somebody else, and pay taxes on it, et cetera, but it's gonna be here long after we're here.